The Perak State Assembly sitting started off Thursday with lots of tension and drama. Pakatan Rakyat appointed Assembly Speaker V. Sivakumar refused to start proceedings in the presence of Menteri Besar Datuk Sri Dr. Zamri Abdul Kadir, the six Barisan National Executive Councillors and three independent Assemblymen in the House. Sivakumar ordered the 10 Assemblymen to leave the hall on grounds that they had been suspended. Zamri and the other nine assemblymen, however, ignored Sivakumar's order. Zamri proposed a motion to sack Sivakumar as speaker with the 27 Barisan National Assemblymen and three independents raising their hands in support. He also proposed that former Sungkai Assemblyman Dato R. Ganesan be appointed as the new speaker. But the battle of words and showing continued until police intervened and removed Sivakumar from the house. The Perak Assembly finally adjourned in the afternoon after Raja Nazrin Shah delivered his royal address, focusing on the economic stimulus package. Meanwhile, police have arrested 64 people, including MPs and assemblymen. 13 people were released after questioning. Still on the political situation in Perak, the High Court says it will decide who is the rightful Perak Menteri Besar on Monday. Justice Abdul Aziz Abdul Rahim says Thursday that the court will make the decision on the case between former Perak Menteri Besar Datuk Sri Muhammad Niza Jamaluddin and his successor Datuk Sri Dr Zamri Abdul Kadir due to the urgency of the matter. Niza filed an application on February 13 seeking a declaration that he is the rightful Menteri Besar. He is also seeking an injunction to bar Dr. Zamri from discharging his duties as MB. The Health Ministry has cleared three people who were sent to isolation wards for observation for possible infection of the influenza A H1N1 virus on Thursday. They were declared free of infection after tests by the Institute of Medical Research IMR came out negative. Health Director General Tan Sri Dr. Ismail Marikan says the IMR is still conducting tests on the samples taken from a fourth person who was sent to an isolation ward. The Health Ministry has cleared three people who were sent to isolation wards for observation for possible infection of the influenza A H1N1 virus on Thursday. They were declared free of infection after tests by the Institute for Medical Research IMR came out negative. Health Director General Tan Sri Dr. Ismail Marikan says the IMR is still conducting tests on samples taken from a fourth person who was sent to an isolation ward on the same day. He notes that Malaysia is currently free of the influenza A H1N1 virus. The half price Singapore surprise promotion is back to woo Malaysian tourists. Singapore's popular icon, Pua Chukang introduced the exciting attractions taking part this year at the launch of the promotion Thursday. Malaysians need to produce their passports and embarkation cards at the ticketing counters at participating attractions in Singapore to enjoy preferential promotional rates. They can choose to pay the corresponding published rates in Malaysian Ringgit or get a 50% discount off the published rates if they choose to pay in Singapore dollar. The campaign will run from May 20 till June 30. For more updates, log on to the staronline.tv. I'm Himalata Subramaniam. Thanks for watching.